Let's do another one of these studio videos. You might remember on a previous video, I did a mail time where I opened a bunch of boxes and packages that you guys sent me. And since then, you guys have sent me a whole lot of stuff and it's been piling up and some of the guys who sent me stuff are probably thinking, oh, he just took it and he's not gonna open it on video. Well, I'm gonna do it all today and there's a lot here, so we'd better get on with it. This one is from Garage Moon Power in Georgia. Money shot, oh, floor mats for the R32. So Sebastian over in the uh, United States from Garage Moon Power said, hey, would you like some uh, floor mats for the beer can? I said, yes, just send me whatever you think is cool. And he sent me these. Love watching you. Hope these match the R32. I think they will. And he drew a heart. Also, this is Sebastian's car. He's got this really cool sort of Arbor Moon style R32. So just search uh, Garage Moon Power. Check them out. They've got uh, all sorts of stuff for sale. That's actually him drifting with such a car from Arbor Moon. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Sebastian, for the floor mats. Next, this one's from Galib Azam in Glasgow. These are very glittery. So we have stickers from Status Unknown, one very glittery and one regular silver. And what else? Reckless Tribe. These are very nice stickers. I know the name, I just have to look it up. Here's their blog. S15s. Online blog following the goings on of the crew from Glasgow. That's really difficult to say. Status unknown, thank you for the stickers. Okay, let's go for another big one. Hoonigan! Supply drop to Alexi. I mean, obviously you guys are watching YouTube, but I don't know if you're keeping up with what Hoonigan's been doing these days, but they have like a daily vlog now, doing stuff at their uh, shop. It's pretty good, I suggest you check it out. Okay, money shot! There are so many shirts. Hat, t-shirt, 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 okay, this is... So do a search for Hoonigan's channel. They've almost got a million subscribers and they upload every day. Also, Hurt is my spirit animal. I'm gonna bend the brim, I think. I'm not really a flat brim kind of guy. E. Instant Awesome Collection. A step-by-step -step guide to building a drift coffin. Chop your springs. We call them choppies in Australia. Well, this is a nice shirt, but I can't see anything printed on it. I like this one. That, what is that? RB26, I think. I like that one. A bit more classy. Gotta have some uh, white t-shirts for when you're not doing car stuff and getting oil all over everything. And, hey, what's this? You gotta have the hoodie. I like it. If you're not subscribed to the Hoonigans YouTube channel, I suggest you do it because they do upload a video like every day, which is uh, a pretty good effort. And more often than not, it ends up with something being broken or whatever. Let's be honest though, the only reason to watch it is for hurt. Next one, Toge Garage. Another hat, I'm never gonna run out of fresh hats. Toge Garage, the big cartel. Okay, so they're a, Toge Garage is an Australian company with additional parts and accessories. Okay, so they sell merch and uh, accessories and stuff like that. Uh, that old school Nismo logo, everyone loves that now, I don't know why. Thank you, James, for the hat. Mitchell Irvine from Canada. Oh, I nearly ripped whatever was in here. Nightride.ca. That looks kind of cool with the... Uh, the green screen doesn't like it. It's like a uh, glittery yellow. Hi Alexi, my name is Mitchell Irvine. I run a graphic design sticker shop here in Canada called Night Ride. I make liveries and da 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 da. I've included one of our new logo stickers. This thing here. Thanks for doing what you do. Thank you for the sticker. Aha. This one's gonna be good. Now, this next one is from Maximum Driftcast. If you don't know what Maximum Driftcast is, it's a podcast run by uh, Sam Nelvin, Paco Ibarra, and Corey Hosford over in, in the United States. And they do a weekly podcast that's basically about drifting in the United States, like Formula Drift. And every week they get on like a different uh, guest. And I've been on that twice, twice I think so far. Tofu Drift sticker, that's um, Paco's car. He's got a, what do you call it in the United States? A Toyota Previa powered by an SR20. Uh, otherwise known as a Tarago or Estima. Tofu Drift t-shirt. I like these colored shirts. Like a stack of Maximum Drift Car stickers. And this is the best for spaghetti use only. That's a bit of an in-joke. So you'll have to uh, listen to the podcast to get that joke. But uh, yeah, spaghetti everywhere. And we have another... You guys, gee, how did you guys fit all that into this tiny box? Yes, I like this one. Maximum Drift Cast t-shirt. I believe the mug is one of the things that they give away to their Patreon supporters. 
definitely go and check out Maximum Driftcast. They put out a lot of content and get a lot of really good guests on the show. Here we go. So that's it there. Maximum Driftcast. It's sort of done a bit tongue-in-cheek, but it's also really good. So if you're into drifting, uh, especially if you're, if you're from the United States, it's definitely worth a listen to. I usually listen to it like when I'm driving on the expressway, like, for example, going up to Ebisu, I'm listening to that on the way. So, yeah, check it out. And they also do the show on YouTube. So it's on, like, you know, iTunes and YouTube and all the other podcasting services. So thanks again for all the stuff. Let's go for this one. Looks like it's from Australia. DVD and key tag from I Don't Know. Oh, it's stuff from uh, Motive. So Motive DVD. If you're from Australia, you've probably heard of this uh, DVD series. They've been around for a really long time, since, like, back when I used to work for car magazines. Uh, back then, the videos they made were sort of more about show car, uh, what was known in Australia as sex spec, uh, was, which is also otherwise known as shit and glitter. But uh, these days, Andrew Hawkins and the guys who make the videos are all about basically hardcore sort of street style cars. And they run these events these days, which are basically who's got the world's fastest street GTR. So Motive DVD stickers, and this is pretty cool, key tag. That is going to go on the Skyline for sure, because I have the GTR key even though it's not a GTR. I was actually going to do a, a little DVD review on a future video where I show some of the old DVDs I used to work for. So we might do a little quick review of these at the same time. And you can either check them out on YouTube here or just go to MotiveDVD.com. Thank you, Andrew, or whoever sent these to me. Next, Empire Decal from Reno, Nevada. I want to visit Reno. I want to go to the uh, what's the, the air show that they have there. That, that'd be really cool. Oh, that, okay, I like this. This is a cool touch. He, see the stickers? He wrapped them up in pages of a Japanese magazine. That's a nice touch. I like that. So, Empire, Decal, uh, what's that say? Kyusha Dakikao. We were only buying old cars. I guess that makes sense. Age is everything. So, if you're into uh, old cars, I think these are the guys to go to. Empire with the, uh, sort of a matte finish on that one. So I'm guessing the Empire guys are into old cars. So EmpireDecal.jp. Oh, he's even got the Japanese address. i got to check this out. So these guys, Empire, seem to be into the uh, sort of Kyusha old school style stuff. Cool. So if you want to check him out, EmpireDecal.jp. Thank you guys for the stickers. Okay, next one. I can feel a hat in here. I'm going to have so many hats. This one is from uh, Zen Garage in Australia. Uh, this is going to be good. One of the guys involved in Zen Garage is a guy called Justin Fox, who's a friend of mine. And look at that. See, this is the kind of, that's the kind of stitching I want if I was going to make a Noriero logo, like 3D. Look how good that is. That is so, look how nice that, that is so nice. Unfortunately, under the brim is like a teal color, which looks like the green screen, so you can't see it. So yeah, Zen makes really, really nice apparel. And they've been doing it for a long time, and this stuff is really high quality. And here's their, <laughs> this is their catchphrase. It's okay if you don't get it. Yeah, Zen has, they're, they're fairly active on the internet and they get a lot of haters, but I think the way they do things is really cool. Uh, like their, their whole sort of apparel and the way they like to design cars and, you know, the, the people they hang out with. Oh, yes, I like this one. This is the classic Zen Garage logo. They used to have this, uh, like a space in Sydney where I'm from, and it was a really cool place to hang out and lots of people always show up and there was all sorts of cool stuff going on there all the time, so... And they also sent me, actually, this is almost identical. They sent me a bunch of stuff like five years ago, Zen Garage, and I'm still wearing it now. So this stuff is um, it's very high quality, and I always enjoy wearing the Zen stuff. Classic logo, Zen Garage stickers. Rob, thank you, Rob, very much for sending me. All right, we'll do a little one now. Uh, this one is from Portugal. Oh, man, how do I pronounce that? I don't want to screw it up. João. João? Apparently, it's the Portuguese version of John. From João Santos in Portugal, in Portugal. Hey man, the idea of sending a letter to Japan seemed so incredible that I had to do it. Huh. Love your videos. You're always showing us something new about Japanese car culture. That's awesome. I've sent you a couple of my band's stickers. You can listen to it on YouTube. Just search Comancho. <laughs> this is why the internet is cool, because some dudes from Portugal will send you stickers of their band. And a what looks like a Portuguese YouTube channel. So I've got their band going in the background, and this is the channel. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to save this video and check it out later. Joao Santos, uh, muito obrigado. I think that's how you say it. Next! Alright, this one's obviously from America. Super effective in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, okay, super effective like the Pokemon 
It's super effective. Hi, Alexi. Thanks for putting out such great content. I've been watching your videos ever since I saw Buying and Drifting in 86. That is when um, my YouTube channel really took off after that video. So, yeah, I think I need to buy another 86. When you saw the Atasha video, it made me think of sending you these stickers. Please enjoy them. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see why. Please don't feel obligated to shout out my site. Okay, well, I won't say it's uh, supereffective.us. These are thick. These are thick stickers too. Nice. <laughs> Squirtle Squad and super effective these are cool i don't know what where should i don't know where i should put the shinji it's like pissed off shinji drinking coffee next one is from uh new zealand scott griffiths oh this one i actually i did open it very quickly because i was wondering what was inside this is amazing see this alexi a gift for you a gift for your van a little something my brother and i have been working on hand painted with love and a brush here's the cool thing with these things right we design these so you shouldn't need to modify or cut your key in any way just push your key into the holder and the holder into the handle until it clicks and he's got like a look he's got a packing list this guy is professional as hell okay i'm jumping ahead let me let me go and grab the key for my jzx because i've got it hang on all right so this is the key for my jzx 100 this is one of the original snap-on screwdriver key holders and they stopped making these about, I'm going to say, five or six years ago. You can find them on Yahoo Auctions, but a lot of them are fake. So apparently I put my key in here and then this snaps in like that. So I stick that in there. And then that goes in there. And it snaps into place. Just for reference, that was the old holder and that's the new one. And the old one had the same sort of thing, like the little quick release. So, you know, you can take it off your key ring and stick it in your car and start it up. Wow, you did a really good job of that. Here's the website, The Compound NZ. And the first thing on the page is that key screwdriver hybrid thing. It says down the bottom there, if you're interested in buying one. So yeah, that's really cool. Like that's, that would have taken a lot of work to design that. Uh, Ireland. Does that say it from Cork? Ireland is also another place I'd like to visit because Irish drifting looks insane. Oh, I've heard, I've seen these on the internet. Nestle Drifter Bars and Boost Bars. Hi, Alexi. Just a little treat from everyone at Chaos 13. We're a drift team from Ireland that runs uh, S13 180SXs. I've added a photo of my own car. Chaos 13. Chaos 13. Oh, okay. S13. I get it. Yeah, that's good. I like it. So, Will from Chaos 13, thank you very much for the uh, candy. Uh, United States. Uh, Blaine WA. Is that Washington? T-shirt. Oh, okay. Speed Hero. Shadinasty. Shady Nasty. 1970s until forever. Excellent. This is good. I like this. These guys do run some pretty damn cool cars. Definitely going to rock that. Speed Hero. Let's unboring car style. I've never actually owned a car from the 70s. My, my oldest car was a 1982 Mazda RX-7. So, yeah, I'm not on that Kusha train just yet. There you go. Let's just bring up... So this is from Shady Nasties, Shadinasties Facebook page. Hey, there's Sebastian. So you can check him out, uh, Sh Shady Nasty or Shadinasty Drift. And also thanks for the Speed Hero shirt. Quinn's actually a friend of mine. Weeb Dreams. I'm not even joking. To Alexi Drift King. I like how it's like a piece of paper sort of torn off something else. Love the channel, man. I know you like stickers, so I sent a couple from my shop. Uh, at uh, Garage Team Excite. I make mostly anime and drift style stickers. Uh, if you'd like something designed or made, I'll take care of you. I'm assuming you do that for anybody else as well. Sorry for the bad handwriting. You're not wrong. These are cool. I especially like this one. That is uh, Aesthetic AF. Website is teamexcite.us. Thank you very much for the stickers. I'm just pulling stuff out randomly now because there's so much of it. Okay, next one is from uh, 101 Squadron from uh, Norway. Uh, hey, Alexi. My name is Rudy and I am an Australian li living in Norway. Oh, there you go. We actually met at Gartabil in 2014. Ah. I thought you might like one of my JDM coloring books that I started selling last year. It's legit. Like, look how thick this is. Look how thick it is. JDM coloring book. 
That must have been a lot of effort to, to make that. And stickers. 101 Squadron uh, stickers. J oh, here we go. JZ Family. RB Family. I can use both of those. That's like the Nomican Chihuahua, but instead it's a moose. I guess that makes sense if it's Norway. Well, they're on Facebook, 101 Squadron. The website is not coming up. So, Rudy, uh, you're an Australian living in Norway. So, Tusen tak skar du har. And uh, thanks a lot, mate. Next one. Uh, Mooresville, NC. Is that uh, North Carolina, I'm going to guess? I could be wrong. From uh, Eric. It's been inspected by Japan Post. I wonder what's in it. Misfits Motorsports shirt. Oh, is that for real? See, the funny thing about this shirt is this is probably the rarest rough welt shirt in Japan because it's from the United States. Uh, from Carver, Cam, Tyler, and Eric. Hey, Alexi, we're a small import performance shop in North Carolina. We also threw in a limited edition rough welt North Carolina tee for our upcoming build, Misfit Motorsports. Long live the 90s. I like that one. And some cut vinyl. Yeah, there we go. Looks like it's, uh, it's already been built. They said in the letter that they'd let me drive their S13. I'm assuming that's what that is. The IWB is currently in Uptown Charlotte inside the Art of Vape. So obviously the build has been finished. The Art of Vape. Okay, not my thing, but uh, hey, that's cool. So thank you for the uh, very rare in Japan shirt, Misfit Motorsports. Next one, Beaverton OR, which I think is Oregon. Ian McGinley, m -m -m money shot. Alexi, we are Team Tanoshimu and we wanted to send you a little something. We've been fans for a long time. And we appreciate your coverage over in Japan. It always gets us hyped to go out and drive our local track here in Oregon at Pat's Acres Racing. That's what I like. That's that's why what I really want to do is just get people hyped for drifting because, you know, it's it's my favorite hobby. So if everyone else gets hyped on it too, we all have more fun, which is what Tanoshimu actually means. So there you go. Tanoshimu, to have fun, which is, yeah, literally it's, the, uh, it's that form of the verb, to have fun. Tanoshimu and tanoshimu see the funny thing about these stickers and t-shirts that use japanese on them it's like uh, i when i wear them over here people always ask me is that shirt from america or something like that because they can tell because it's using japanese incorrectly which is basically the same as all those japanese slogans you know pray to god of bomex we hope you speed over the rival you know so keep it up it's good uh if you want to check us out just search team tanoshimu on youtube yeah. Turk Bash 2017. So this is probably pretty recently. All right, I don't want to get uh, copyrighted. So there you go. Uh, Team Tanoshimu on YouTube. Thank you very much for the uh, t-shirt and stickers. Okay, this last one now. It was sent to me from a guy who said he was going to do a Kickstarter for these sunglasses he was designing, which were like carbon fiber. Like they were designed to be driving sunglasses. He sent these to me and I've never heard anything back from him, which is kind of weird. See that? They're dry carbon fiber. And the lenses have these amazing coating on them. Like he sent me two pairs and I've been wearing the other pair a lot when I'm just driving around on the highway and stuff. And they're really good. You know, they look pretty cool and they're really lightweight and the coating is amazing and they're quite dark. So dr even driving in the middle of the day, you don't get any uh, eye strain. But the guy never sent me any ma messages back. So he just sent me these two pairs of glasses. I don't know. So once again, thanks to everyone who's sent stuff in. Uh, the address is in the about section of the YouTube channel. Also, lots of events coming up. We've got uh, a drift event at Meihan on Sunday. And then the weekend after that is Formula Drift Japan, Okuibuki. Then we have the FIA drift event at Odaiba, followed by the final rounds of D1 Grand Prix at Odaiba too. And those are all going to be live streamed. So there's plenty of stuff to look forward to there. Uh, check these videos out if you haven't seen them already. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't, just so you don't miss out on any uploads. Uh, also down here, Snapchat, Instagram, and also Twitch. I've got a Twitch channel, so if you watch Twitch, make sure you follow that. I do some IRL live streams sometimes. Anyway, once again, thanks for everyone who sent stuff in, and I will see you next time.